Well, uh, the biggest thing uh, this year that we're excited about is just uh, the team's about four times as large as it's ever been. And the big class, you know, it brings its own problems, but at the same time, it brings like, it's a, it's a new energy, which is, which is really nice. Um, we're trying some new things, both character-wise and, and, and team building wise that we haven't been able to do in the past. And we're, being, we're doing some sets and some intensity that, again, we haven't been able to do in the past. So I think the, the 25 new freshmen that we have have really brought on uh, some great, great energy for us. And, and I really have some high expectations, some high hopes for this year. The funny thing about our returners this year is it's uh, as much of a culture shock for them as it has been for the incoming freshmen. You know, going from a team of eight and now up to 32, it's been uh, absolutely incredible, uh, the, the new energy that they have there. And you can feel it both on deck and uh, in the spectator stands. And even our returners, you know, they're, they're, they have some really great goals this year. And I'm really expecting them to pay off better than they have in the past. Well, the, the goal always for our team is to, you know, just to progress, to, to get a little bit better every single year, to come to practice with a great attitude, with, a, with a, the spirit of what can we do to get, you know, a little bit better today. Um, you know, it's that kind of that 1% mentality. We're going to get 1% better today, so at the end of the season, we're that much closer to our goals, or that much better as an individual. Finish-wise, you know, it would be nice to be in the top 10. I would love to see this team rise into the top 10. If we're, we're going to stretch it out, I would love to see uh, make us break the top five. Um, overall as a, as, a, as a team in the conference championship. But it, it's going to be a long road. There's going to be a lot of hills and valleys along the way, and I hope to you know, work hard as we rise up the, the first hill and then ride the, the next uh, plane as long as we can. You know, at the end of the season, you know, hoping to have some really good detailed and fast swimming. And you know, just the, just, again, the overall energy and excitement is, is phenomenal on the deck right now, and I'm really hoping that pays off when it comes to um, our big meet in about five months now. Well, we have a great meet at the end of our season where we get to do a quad meet against Messiah, who's been the top of the conference on the women's side, Stevens, who has both men and women uh, top of the conference, and then York uh, College, who is always top three, top four uh, since they've joined the MAC. So that, that's our last meet of the year, which will be a lot of uh, very, a very challenging meet for us. Um, the other one I'm, I'm really looking forward to is our St. Mary's uh, McDaniel matchup, which is an out-of-conference matchup, but uh, they, they come with some great experience and speed from different conferences, so it's really nice to, to be able to have that. And of course, this weekend, it's nice to lead off with Salisbury. I mean, their program has risen uh, way above expectations from previous years. So uh, we're in for a, a great challenge this weekend. But we have some really great uh, matchups this year. Um, and really our, our focus as a team right now is actually on our uh, December invite meet, which is the Randolph-Macon uh, Yellow Jacket invite, where we get to swim against a bunch of you know, Division II and Division III colleges and a you know, gorgeous facility, uh, really fast meet. And I, I'm excited to see what they do there. So really everything that we do from today on is really just in preparation for that first with, with Max and the, our Mac championship in the back of our mind.